Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a review of the video stages sets. Now, if you're not a video fan, please do stick around because I was not sure I was going to like these sets. I got them on half off from Zavi. You all have seen a couple of Brick Hauls ago that I picked those up. So with that 50% deal, I thought I'm going to risk it. I really like the video minifigures. I hate video, the concept itself, the the technology side. We mentioned that before in a podcast, um, if you want to check that out. I'll link that up now. But the sets themselves didn't interest me. The minifigures, I like. I think they're really cool and vibrant and I, I wanted to get all the minifigures. So I got all the band rates Series 1. I'm planning on trying to get the Series 2 ones. And there were just minifigures in these sets that I really, really wanted. Like the boom box has got that fairy in it. I really wanted the fairy. But the price tag was just too high. But as soon as that 50% off came, I snapped them up, figured it couldn't hurt. I built them on random live streams that we were part of. And I, I have to say that I enjoyed building them all. They were all fun builds. There's a lot of movable parts in these sets. I'll go through each set individually. Um, just a quick run through so you can get a closer look at them. I'll let you know if I think they're worth picking up. Let's start off with the Candy Castle stage. Set 43111. 344 pieces, two minifigures. And it was twenty four ninety nine retail price. I think I may have actually bought this one at retail price because I thought my daughter would really like this set. So, um, and I was meant to be going to a video specific stream, so I picked up something video. So, I'll show you first all this sort of rotation that you get in these sets. So, a lot of things spin. So, in the app, I'm assuming that that means that you can sort of change things around and make different things happen on the screen. You've got the different piece on the head and actually this is my favorite part about these video sets is the way that these move it's very satisfying to turn them around like, yeah i don't know if you can hear the clicking but that that is fun to me and um, they're very cutesy this one in particular has got um the ice creams and those sort of spin so you can have blue showing or pink showing again i think that's just based on the app uh, you've got a nice drum kit here a little central chocolate stage this bit here is uh, a chocolate waterfall which you'll see when you turn it around and i think the concept here is that this is backstage so this is where the acts would sort of chill out there is a bit missing from here that my daughter has run off with it's like a little uh, i would say maybe like a dressing table type thing with you know the ones you get in in dressing rooms with the big lights on i don't think there are lights but that's kind of what i see it as um but I just want to stand in this fountain, really, and eat all that chocolate. I know it's not real, but there's two minifigures in here. So you've got the little bear with his stripy tie. Really like his jacket. Obviously, it's my my kind of colours. And the fact that he's sort of quite translucent is good. Um, he's got the sort of a music logo on the back, and then the. I don't know, ballerina maybe? She's got like a little tutu. Her hair's pretty cool, similar to the candy uh, or the ice cream mermaid. She hasn't got an alternative face. No, just the one face. Which is, I find it actually quite weird, given that the set sort of turns around a lot. Why, why can't you turn around the face? But, but yeah, she comes with a microphone, a pink microphone, which has gone AWOL. And he comes with a pink and white striped guitar, which has also gone a well. So this is probably the most played with set so far, because we've had it so long. It's really cutesy. Great colours. And some good parts to reuse. So if you want to do like an ice cream shop, you can take all the ice cream stuff off. Um, yeah. So the next one at the same price point is Robo Hip Hop Car. So it's twenty four ninety nine again. Uh, it's at 43112 and 387 pieces. So it's similar. All the pieces will turn around. So you can get them either way. The clicking one in the centre. I'm not a big fan of robots. Um, so this is not my favourite set. But Ian built this one. He seemed to enjoy building this one. Lots of moving parts. It's quite a cool car in itself. You could modify it to just be a car. Take off the sort of side builds. Um, and one thing that I didn't know until Ian pointed it out to me is that it actually comes with a little jacuzzi in the back. 
So their backstage area is um, a nice jacuzzi. You've got the drinks on the side, a little TV screen as well. And I mean, that's a cool backstage, isn't it? There's some decks in here, so someone could be DJing. And then the two little stages. So you never seem to get enough minifigures to make it work. So you've got one, two, three platforms plus the DJ booth on this one. The candy ca uh, candy stage had four different places for people to stand. So I guess you're going to meant to be using the band mates to to add in. So the two minifigures in here, you've got the sort of the uh, ghetto blaster, the boom box, uh, the robot, robot girl. She's got sort of a yellow hoodie, quite a lot of detailing on there. Same on her legs as well. An interesting sort of face. Her hair piece is quite cool. And then the other robot, sort of white hair in the visor, random blue stud at the back, and that hood piece, which I quite like. Uh, he's got a cool stripy guitar. Again, some sort of circuitry printing on his legs. And you kind of lose the torso, which covers up the back printing, but again, some circuitry. His face is quite roboty underneath as well. So yeah, this is my least favourite, I would say, but still pretty cool. And this one I can see being modified quite easy to add into a city. Next up, you've got the K-pop concert. So I'm guessing that's a play on the K-pop uh, genre. So this is set 43113. This is slightly bigger at 514 pieces, and it comes with the three minifigures this time. But the price tag was £45, so quite a jump there. I'm loving the colour palette in this, so the purples and the turquoise. I am not a fan of the coral colour. So I would probably leave that bit out. It's quite a fun one with lots of different levels to this stage. So you've got two two bits down the bottom, steps up. Then you've got some decks on this side and a keyboard on that side. Lots of things that can spin. So these come round to change colours there. And then these bits here also spin. And that takes the top with them. So then you've got the two additional stages up the top. And then the central uh, central stage as well. The bit that spins at the top, the one with the nice click, has got a unicorn head. And then this is my favourite, is the the bunny. I just really love his, like, I don't know, it's just really cute. See, his, his little heart nose and the little whiskers. He's really cool. I'm assuming it's a bunny and not a cat. I don't know why. I think these are bunny, more bunny ears, but let me know if you think I'm wrong. So then the backstage area on this one is sort of a little drink stand. This to me looks like a DDR machine, so a little bit of dancing to chill out at the back. And then I think these are like stands for the guitars and things. So I quite, quite like the concept, the, the stage and then backstage. Let's grab the minifigs. Got those really... Look at the shimmer on those wings. That's really cool. Little golden microphone to match her horn. And then really good torso printing. Kind of reminds me of like a, a shell suit from the 80s though. Then um, the hair's good at the back and the tail. And then under the wings. Got some more printing there. And I, this is the thing I find with most of the video ranges. They, they just hide a lot of the printing with extra accessories. But then that's great if you want to... Um, then use those pieces in your city that you've still got the printing I guess the bunny I'm not sure about the bunny's hair I think it's too quiff looking I don't know it just looks wrong I think I prefer him without that he's got the guitar and really cool printing but coral colour is not my favourite and a little bunny on the back as well and then maybe a a, a red panda or a fox I don't know I'm never sure with these he's got the kita the hair is interesting 
and again it's covering up the back of the torso so up next we have the punk pirate ship that's 43114 615 pieces three minifigs and this was 59.99 so ian built this one he seemed to really enjoy it got the spinning barrels the different stages at the top um, there's one up in the crow's nest as well, and that whole thing rotates. So you've got a shark on the one side and a pirate sort of skull, a punk pirate skull on the other. You've got the rigging. There is a bit missing from ours. I don't know where it's gone. It's just the sort of stage background, which has got a little anchor on it. A little shell at the front, which sort of moves a stud shooter in this one. And then the three minifigures. Ship's wheel and the drum kit. Then the backstage area for this one is kind of enclosed, but you can then open it up. There's little stands for the instruments, little flooring, some pizza, just for them to react some treasure to be on theme and some bottles to go with the um, barrel of stuff, I guess. So quite a nice backstage area. This is very much a a boat build obviously you're lacking the rear of the boat to fully enclose it but you could mock this into something for a city so minifig wise we've got the i want to say octopus but i've been told it might be a kraken this one it's got the drumsticks which are obviously the wands that headpiece is really cool take it off just to see a bit more printing it's a really cool um, torso. Look at that on the back as well. You've then got the the punk shark with all the Mohican going on. He's got quite. Oh. Um, before I launched it across the room, he had quite a cool little guitar. So in the shape shape of an anchor, I think that's a really cool piece. His tongue sticking out. It's a bit weird, but. Nice little colouring on the, the shark body. And then there's his torso underneath. Heavily sort of anchors in this set. Not much on the legs at the back. or There's definitely leg printing at the front. And then the violinist mermaid. She's quite cool. She's got arm printing. No alternative face. I think actually her the mould for her tail is slightly different to normal. That's a quite a nice sort of fin there. Or tail fin, yeah. I like the uh, violin as well. So the very last video stage is the boom box set 43115. It's 996 pieces, four minifigs, and this was 89.99 in the UK. So that was quite a, a price to pay. And considering this is the only piece that I actually wanted from this set, that fairy, the purple fairy, um, I didn't want to pay 89.99. But for half price, I thought it's still quite a lot. 45, 45 pounds. But... I'm going to buy it. I bought them all. Once you start buying them all, you may as well. Um, but I, this is actually the one that surprised me the most. I really love this set. It is such a nice display piece. It looks like a boom box. All closed up like this. I can see this just sitting on someone's shelf. Um, and just being sort of a nod to, you know, the retro days of cassettes and things. But then you take all the people off and it opens up. So the front sort of pulls down, so that's all your tape player um, area, and that's your stage sort of flips out from there. You got the sort of two keyboards here, and then the sides come out as well. You've got a lot of colour in this set, so I really like some of the designs. And these spin sort of four sides now, so you've got four different ways you can have the side bits, and the same with these ones, um, and you can spin them by the dials at the top. That's my favourite one, the, the really colourful one. So yeah, they spin 
for out those. And you then got the spinny ones at the bottom as well. The stages themselves don't spin on those, just the underneath part. And then again, you've got four here. So this is definitely going to get you more value in the app if you're using the app, which I'm definitely not going to do. You've got some upward stairs details so that you can move about the stage and that's kind of makes it more playable as a, a set itself without using the app so then the backstage area on this one you just spin it around and these sort of sides flip open and they're actually quite satisfying as well because they kind of clunk 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 open um so you've got like a little sofa in there um and again another tv the tv seen very popular in all of these for relaxing behind stage and then some ice cream and cookie or oh, donuts actually in, in there um but not a bad backstage area but well concealed so you can literally put it back together and have it as that display piece and i think there's a lot of value in having it looking like this and this is probably how i'm going to keep it um i don't think i'm going to take this one apart i really do love it and it's sturdy as so you can just carry it around So then, so then the minifigures, we've got my personal favourite, the like folk fairy, but in purple. I, the detailing here is astounding. And the fact that she's got yellow arms is good because it means I can use her in the city. Um, she's not too weird, apart from the fact that, you know, she's a fairy. You are losing again the, the printing at the back with the wings. So let's take those off. There you go, there's the, she's kind of got wings at the back as well. No alternative face. Another one of the, I want to say that this is a cheetah maybe because of the spots on there. Um, but with the hair, it's just confusing. Not particularly keen on the colours for this one. And then not all that exciting torso at the back. This one's kind of like the alien from the original beatboxes. Similar colour or different colours, but same sort of headpiece. Come with a skateboard. Pretty plain. I'm not overly enamoured with that one. And then this is a really cool guitar. Look at that. It's an axe guitar. So that's super cool. Um It's got a little vampire bat at the back there. So would I have bought these if they hadn't been 50% off? Probably not. Do I regret buying them? No. I think there's two builds there that could be converted for city use. So the car and the, the pirate ship. I really love the boombox for display. This one I think I can see my daughter playing with because it's so cutesy. And I can break these down for parts and it's not going to bother me. I, I can live without having these fully built, but I'm happy that I got all of those minifigures. So I'm pleased that we we shelled out 50% of the price for these. If you can see a similar deal, then I would say do it. Especially that boom box. The boom box is a lot better than I was expecting it to be. What's the future for video? I don't know. I think we always agreed that they should never have brought out the first round of sets without these stages. It was just far too much app based at the start and the stages clearly are what would have made it work better from the beginning. So I think they kind of did themselves a disservice there. I guess we will wait to see what happens when they bring video back. But I am not against video, just the, the technical aspect of it. I think that's the bit that I'm not a fan of. So let me know which of these is your favourite. Did you manage to pick any up for 50% off like I did? What do you think they're going to do when they bring video back? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.